You went to bed early and got a full eight hours of sleep, but still woke up feeling exhausted. Sound familiar? That's because good sleep isn't just about how long you sleep, it's about how well you sleep. The truth is, if you want to wake up feeling refreshed, energized, and ready to take on the day, you need to understand the science of sleep. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to optimize your sleep so you wake up feeling amazing every single morning. So let's get started. If you're getting enough sleep but still feeling exhausted, the problem isn't how much you sleep, it's how well you sleep. Your sleep happens in cycles, each lasting about 90 minutes. These cycles include light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. And here's the catch. If you wake up in the middle of a deep sleep phase, you feel groggy even if you got 8 hours. But if you wake up at the right time, at the end of a sleep cycle, you feel alert and refreshed. This is why waking up at the wrong time can make you feel worse than sleeping less, but waking up at the right moment. So how do you make sure you wake up at the right time? That's where sleep optimization comes in. So how do you actually wake up at the right time? First, use the 90 minute rule. Since sleep cycles last about 90 minutes, plan your sleep so you wake up at the end of a cycle, not in the middle of deep sleep. For example, if you need to wake up at 7 a.m., count backward in 90 minute blocks. That means the best times to fall asleep would be 10.30 p.m., 12 a.m., or 1.30 a.m. Second, use a smart alarm. Apps like Sleep Cycle track your movement and wake you up when you're in light sleep, making it easier to get out of bed feeling refreshed. And third, give yourself 15 minutes of natural light in the morning. This tells your body it's time to wake up by stopping melatonin production, the hormone that makes you sleepy. Even if you time your sleep cycles right, there are three major things that can wreck your sleep quality. The first, screens before bed. The blue light from your phone, TV, or laptop tricks your brain into thinking it's daytime, delaying melatonin production. That's why scrolling TikTok in bed makes it way harder to fall asleep. The second, caffeine too late in the day. Caffeine has a half-life of five to six hours, meaning if you drink coffee at 4 p.m., half of it is still in your system at 10 p.m. Try to cut off caffeine at least six hours before bed. And the third, an inconsistent sleep schedule. Your body thrives on routine. If you go to bed at 10 p.m. on weekdays, but 2 a.m. on weekends, your body has no idea when to feel tired. Try to stick to a consistent bedtime, even on weekends. If you struggle to fall asleep or wake up during the night, here are some science-backed tricks to fix it. First, lower your body temperature. A cooler room, around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, helps you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Second, use the 103210 sleep formula. Here's how it works. 10 hours before bed, no caffeine. 3 hours before bed, no big meals or alcohol. 2 hours before bed, no work or stressful tasks. 1 hour before bed, no screens. Zero snooze button in the morning. Wake up immediately to start the day right. And finally, try deep breathing. The 478 method, breathe in for 4 seconds, hold for 7, exhale for 8, helps slow your heart rate and signal your body it's time to sleep. To recap, remember that good sleep isn't about how long you sleep, it's about how well you sleep. To wake up feeling amazing, time your sleep in 90 minute cycles, use smart alarms, get morning sunlight, and avoid the biggest sleep disruptors. Now here's your challenge. Try one of these sleep hacks tonight and see if you wake up feeling more refreshed. Then drop a comment below and let me know which one worked best for you. And if this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more science-backed life hacks. See you in the next one.